it's been two months since I've uh, been with you online. Um, it says the internet connection is unstable. Before I go any further, is it is it okay? Everybody can hear me all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll record this too so that if anyone has issues, we can um, right. share it with them if they weren't able to hear. Okay, sweet. So you guys, it's been two months. Um, and you know, for me, it's an everyday practice. And if I go three days without the practice, it's like for sure during the week, like really zone into my practice. And the practice could be, again, uh, movement. It could be stillness. Um, I'm going to kind of jump us into an exercise together. I'm going to explain it, though, before uh, we jump right into it, because um, I kind of want you to kind of just zone into yourself. You know, I don't want to talk too much and take your attention away from what you're actually doing. So uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of fear going on right now in the world. And this is number one uh, for myself to be able to move with awareness without uh, too much fear over taking over my body, taking over my pain, taking over my mind. And right now, you know, it's really serious on how to navigate in this world, you know, in a healthy body. And so for me, uh, and for everybody, you know, that's, that's huge, you know, to keep ourselves safe, to keep our families safe, to keep the people around us safe, especially our elders. I have a healthy body. My body's pretty healthy. I'm young. Uh, if it was, you know, if I was to have a sickness, it'll probably go through my body pretty quickly. Um, for somebody else who's not as strong, though, whose immune system isn't as strong, they might, you know, uh, and if they have underlying conditions, you know, their body may fail them. So with mindfulness, you guys, this is huge because understanding the brain and understanding uh, our resilience, uh, we have everything we need to stay healthy in this world. Um, we have everything around us to keep this body going, but we have to understand how it works. And number one is that cortisol, uh, we talked about brain science, we talked about neuroplasticity, and we talked about resilience. And this here is noticing and being aware of that cortisol being unleashed every day, you know, fear every day. How am I going to go into the store? Oh, yeah, you know, I got to wipe things down or, you know, everybody kind of is taking their own steps for cautious to be cautious for themselves. So do that. Uh, that's number one. Uh, you know, what do they tell us? Wash our hands, right? So we're going to just wash our hands and continue to move how we move with awareness and with a calm body, with a healthy immune system, a healthy body. So understanding that gate of cortisol opens up and we get flooded. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start our practice with a massage and we're going to massage the brain. And while we're doing this, we're going to massage the head. We're going to massage the back of the skull. We're going to kind of come to the heart center. Um, and while we're doing this, we are releasing oxytocin and we're cutting, we're shutting the gate of cortisol. And this is the thing about cortisol is we actually need it. It's an anti-inflammatory. But if it over, if it overwhelms us, our blood gets used to it and it actually causes inflammation. Um, and so what that means is too much inflammation uh, will de uh, deteriorate our white and red blood cells. And with that, we become sick. So with mindfulness, with massaging our head, with doing these practices, we actually close that gate off every day, close it off every day, five minutes. And we're allowing oxytocin to stay flowing through our body, healthy chemicals so we can have a healthy immune system. So you guys, I'm gonna guide us through it. I might talk a little bit, but um, I'm actually gonna be silent for it because I want you to kind of feel your own yourself you know you can see me doing it but i want you to feel and notice you can even close your eyes and notice how it is so we're going to start and i'll kind of turn to the side a little bit we're going to start with our thumbs on our temples and our fingers on our forehead and just kind of give it like a circle like a little massage and slowly breathing in and out as we do it And as you breathe in and out, an inhale and an exhale is one breath. So as you breathe in and out, and as you move with your breath, kind of move your fingers behind you. And I'm gonna, to the back of the skull, and I'm gonna completely mess up my hand. That's okay. So we wanna 
rub the back behind the ears. Behind the base of the skull. Right where the skull ends, there's a lot of oxytocin receptors. So we're just gonna rub that area. Kind of rub under the jaw. And we could kind of go like this to go back. Breathing in and out. And now we're gonna kind of come to the face and give yourself a face massage. Slowly breathing in and out. And just notice how your body is responding. Notice how your breath is responding. And we're gonna kind of go down to our neck, to our heart center. And you kind of just rub that out a little bit. Breathing in and out. You can make that head massage last longer if you want to. And we're gonna place our hands on the heart center, one up and one down. And take a nice, slow, deep breath in and out. If you feel comfortable to close your eyes, you can. Maybe relaxing the shoulders and feeling the hands on the heart center. Maybe you could feel your shirt underneath your hands. As you take a slow breath in and out, maybe you could feel your chest going up and down, or just moving as you breathe in and out. And you may notice some areas kind of relaxing, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the legs, relaxing the belly, relaxing the jaw, the face. And we'll take three slow breaths before we end this practice. So breathing in and out is one breath. Breathing in and out is two breaths. And breathing in and out is three breaths. So with this one, Mm. We can end it, you guys. I'll end it by giving yourself a hug. <laughs> this is like my ultimate um, favorite practice to fall asleep to. Uh, just giving myself a hug. Um, releasing um, so much medicine that our body naturally does um, throughout the day. So you guys, I have a picture um, that I'm going to show you guys. I have it here, but I'm not sure if we can get it. Um, up there or not. So this picture here, whoo, that felt so good. I'm kind of like, I'm really slowing down in my body right now after that. I kind of just want you guys to notice how you feel in your own body, in your belly, in your back, um, in your jaw. So you guys, these are uh, 12 primary meridians that flow through our body. And it goes way deeper than this. <laughs> and I want to show you guys this because somebody the other day was like, do you believe in your chakras? <laughs> and I was like, do I believe in it? Well, yeah, it's like, it's, it's a fact, you know, <laughs> like it's actually, they're actually there. It's like saying, do you believe in the heart? And so it's, so that's Eastern medicine. Uh, so this is Eastern medicine here and understanding that our tips and our body uh, link all the way to our heart, to our, our spleen, our gallbladder, every, every point, and so also our toes. So every point in our toe links to an organ. And this is huge because what we want to do is we want to continue our immune system to be as strong as we can. And in other countries, you know, countries that have been through plenty of uh, viruses, plenty of um, oh man, like sicknesses for their land as well. Uh, their food is based on spices. 
So understanding uh, that we could bring in a lot of healing with our uh, immunity with spices as well. So I'm going to kind of um, just throw a couple of spices out there for you before we go into this practice, this breathing practice. Um, there's spices like garlic to eat with your food, cinnamon, um, turmeric. Turmeric really, really um, takes down the inflammation in your body. So like if you have a lot of pain, chronic pain, um, I get inflamed in my hands here. And every time I eat turmeric or drink turmeric tea, um, my hands feel skinnier. It's like a lost weight, but it's really actually the inflammation. Um, when I eat beans from a restaurant, oh man, I'm inflamed. And I didn't know it, but they, were, they use um, animal-based um, grease and I don't eat meat. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that's pretty huge. Um, when you don't eat meat and you're, and you're in so much pain, your body, um, sometimes meat causes that pain. So I had to notice, whoa, what are, what are people who have a very healthy immune system who has gone through many of wars, who has gone through many influenzas, um, many viruses, what do they do to keep a healthy body? And it's exercise, it's water, it's the breath, and it's spices, it's, it's the diet. So we're going to go um, into a practice um, that we're going to allow oxygen to fill up the body. You guys may have done this before. You're going to hold the breath and for a couple of seconds, and then you're going to release your breath slowly for another couple of seconds. So the point is we're going to breathe in, and usually I like to count. So I'm going to count your in-breath. So breathing in, one, two, three, four pause you want to try to pause for either five you want to try to pause for that five uh sorry my computer just did something um okay so here we go so you're gonna um i'm just gonna explain it for now before we go into it so we're gonna breathe in one two three four pause and hold your breath one two three four five six and then exhale for one two three four five six seven eight so this is a breath practice, and we're gonna do it four times. And this, you guys, um, you know, massage in the head, starting in the morning or before you go out for the day, or once you get somewhere, you know, and you have to start something, you know, like doing these practices, um, laying down in bed. We've done, last time we did uh, a full over uh, mindfulness practice uh, using our senses. So noticing sound, noticing um, the breath, noticing uh, doing a body scan relaxing the body uh, there's so many different techniques and mindfulness um, in the practice that i want to feed you guys i'm here with you guys this is our last session so i want you guys to pick this up you know use the different practices whichever one that you connect to we're all different so whichever one you feel like oh you know like I, I really did feel like kind of like a nice tingle in my body or in my head i felt my jaw relax or Whichever one that you connect with, um, please use it every single day. And, and when you forget about it, just put that reminder in. You know, your body's gonna let you know. You know, um, I need to pause for a little bit. You know, so again, we're gonna <clears throat> breathe in, and I'm only gonna kind of say this twice. We're gonna do it four times. I'm gonna say it twice, and I'm gonna leave the last two up to you because we all breathe differently. Your four seconds may be like three seconds, um, but the point of this is to hold it in maybe one or two seconds longer than your in-breath. So if your in-breath is four seconds, you wanna hold it for five to six seconds. And then you want your exhale to be two more seconds longer than your pause. So if I paused for six seconds, I'm gonna exhale to seven or eight. And this is our uh, rest and digest. And so that's what our practice is. The practice is actually the exhale. And so it's getting to know your exhale and your inhale. And so what we're doing is we're filling every single part of this with oxygen. And our number one function of our red and white blood cells is to carry oxygen and defense against microbial attack, which is, you know, what we're going through right now. So we're gonna inhale for that four seconds, pause for five to six, exhale for seven to eight. 
and if your your numbers are different we're all different all of our breaths is different so it's just becoming aware of it okay so we're gonna um we could do this with our eyes open we don't have to close our eyes but if you do feel comfortable um i would like you to get as comfortable as you can and here we go so we're gonna breathe in one two three four pause two three four five breathe out two three four five six breathing in one two three four pause two three four five six exhale two three four five six seven inhale Inhaling and remembering your pause, remembering your count, and then exhaling. And breathing in, counting. And exhaling, counting. And I just like feel my whole body kind of break into a sweat. It's also probably past 90 degrees outside right now. Um, so if you guys, um, I mean, for me, that one, uh, that one there takes a, a while to learn uh, just because you're like, whoa, hold on my breath, my mind, like we're all connected. Like I can actually shift my breath at any time. Like for me, that was, that one is a trip. Um, but it's the best because I have carpal tunnel, I have neck injuries, I got like spine stuff going on, but that's been like healing along the way for many years. But when I, I work at a mechanic shop, so when I'm like pushing on stuff after a while, like my hand starts to get deformed again and like bulging out. But what I'll do is fill my body with oxygen, hold it. And I feel like everything like <laughs> it's a trip like my hand is it's not always feels good you know it is kind of painful shocks flow through but then I exhale and I release it and I have so much movement in space for my day I can get back to work um right now as a mechanic which trips me out but um but yeah you guys these um I also have this picture here and if you would like it um we could email it to you guys. This is a picture of um, our chakras <laughs> when somebody asked me if I believed in it. Um, it is, it's fact, you know, you guys. Um, I think what they were trying to ask was like, if I believe in the daily horoscopes <laughs> or, you know, the, the daily, you know, your Pisces. And, but, uh, but this here, you guys, this is important because this is how we move, you know. I'm going to read it real quick innocence creativity evolution security collectivity forgiveness and integration um and these points you know i have a lot of pain in my hand right in uh the center there that's carpal tunnel area and this is all like you know it has to do with our body our mind our spirit uh it says ego super ego present being present flowing through the body uh getting our left side and our right side um, into alignment. Uh, so this is here for you guys. Um, I know we don't have too much time left. I could talk about this forever, um, but I want to do it in a way that you guys can understand it in a short amount of time and kind of get something from these practices because there's so many of them. And at this time with the, with the world and the condition that it is, you know, our mother earth is like condition yourselves, <laughs> you know, because there's a lot of things that we need to do to heal ourselves and heal, heal our mother earth as well. Uh, and it's all here. We can do it. We just, we got to train this and to do it, you know, and it's, it's a computer. I want you to remember you guys like this brain is like a computer. It can crash. Our nerves can crash if there's way too much going on. So this is a, um, 
a nice way to like stay with yourself, stay with balance, no matter how we move, we're able to stay centered, healthy, strong immune system. Um, and with a healthy body, we have healthy families and we have healthy people around us. So um, if there's any questions, you guys, we can go ahead for some questions right now. Or how'd you like that? Was that breathing and holding the breath a uh, heck of hard? <laughs> <clears throat> good remember them you know also that brain picture and some other art let us know how it goes i would love to bring this practice to you guys as much as possible i'm not sure if you have any other ways of getting mindfulness or breathing into your life there are some apps out there um there's also an Inner Explorer app right now. I believe they're giving it for free. I'm not sure. But if you check Inner Explorer and check out the high school series, uh, my voice is on that high school series. And it's actually, for me, it's like a college. It's, it's overall like adult series. Um, but you can check that out. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, our health is number one. That's those spices. You know, I'm I'm just at 36 learning how to cook like naturally for myself, you know, like without, oh man, without like too much fast food. You know, I don't eat uh, meat anymore at all. Uh, and my mind and my body just is so happy. <laughs> um, but you know, everybody else eats meat around me. So I got to like defend for myself, you know, in there with the spices and, and rice and uh, my beans, but like my vegetables, oh man, I'm gonna try to start making some soups pretty soon. So you guys like, yeah, spices are key. You know? And I think I, I might've, uh, real quick, uh, ginger, cinnamon, garlic, turmeric, cayenne pepper, uh, chili pepper, black pepper. Uh, and you can go even further on your own, you know, to find some spices that you like. It's good to sweat. <laughs> it's good to sweat and when you're dancing. So remember to turn that music up. Mm -hmm. right, well, thank you guys for working on those polls. As soon as you're done, you're welcome to hop off. Um, but thank you for joining us today, taking a little moment for yourself, learn some new practices to support you during all this wildness that's out there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyday practice, remember you guys, every day. Thank you, thank you for logging in.